That means over Sabbath, he found a place he could rest. He found a place he could rest. Over Sabbath, somebody looked at me for a couple of shorts and made the shade. That's where miracles are made. They're made in the shade. They're made in a resting place. Oh, Lord. A lot of times I'll sit up under a shade tree. Amen. During the day and talk to the Lord like the thing did in John 1. When Jesus come walk and do it. And I'll tell you there's a shade tonight. There's a holy shade tonight. There's a Holy Ghost shade tonight. Anywhere Holy Ghost can just stop. And just dwell over you. Hover over you. Is that what it is? God said, Holy Ghost is going to come on you. He's going to overshadow you. He's going to rest on you. He's going to come down, girl, and he's going to have a take with you. He's going to sit down on you. He's going to have a seat on you. Somebody leave the name of the Holy Ghost have a seat. Let him come and let him sit. For he says, I'm tired of just walking in the church. For in Revelation chapter 2, verses 1, he said, I'm the one walking in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Oh, but every church he said that he was walking in the midst of all seven of them, he said, I got something to get you. Come on, somebody. Oh, come on here. Hear the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, the one who walks in the midst of his church is one to find a place he can recline in. He wants somewhere he can say, I can stay here. I don't just have to come through and give visitations. Somebody shout, you don't want a visitation. He wants to have a take. He wants a habitation. Daddy don't want visiting rights. No, he wants food custody tonight. He wants somewhere to sit. Holy! Somebody shout, Holy Ghost, sit there. 